presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ off 129, SPs down 24. Gold, gold contract up $1.80, trading at 1996 an ounce. We have silver down four cents, $22.96 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $2.08, $83.31 a barrel. Notes and bonds. Big moves out here by notes and bonds, folks. Uh, bottom line, the 10 year up 26, a 106.10. And I'll bring that up. It was actually more than that because we were in the negative, rejected lower price. And then you had the 30 year. That's up a full point, plus 13 ticks, trading out at 109.26. King dollar. King dollar's up 77 ticks. That gave it up on price, 106.606. The euro at 105. The yen trade 150. And the British pound at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We're going to bring up the E-mini first because... The E-mini, you know, was a one-way route all the way down today. It turns around, we're down about 52, 55 S&P points. We're down to 41, 46. Yeah, and we're 40 points above that right now. Uh, now, let me show you, though. There's an ABC structure on the way up here that gives you a price projection of 29.92. Let's just see what we hit right there. Oh, that's pretty funny. So we, are, we just hit 21.91.25. So... What happens is that, and here, here's, here's your, if you just want to see how this works, here's your ABC up. Intraday. Watching Tiger TV, you can see them just marking this on, on you, this, but this bar, check out this bar with volume. It's a 20, I think it's a 28 A to B equals C to D. You know, so that being said, I expect what you're going to see here is that you're going to run right into the close. You know, we just finished the ABC. We missed it by, what, uh, three quarters of one, you know. But I don't think we're going to miss it because when you come back this much, okay, it's going to take. So watch what happens here. Because we have that big bar there, that, yeah, you can pull back into that bar, you know. Yeah, but look at this. This is there. See, the last bar here has volume, too. So this is going to build a little bit more cause and then make a run for this 4205. That's in your S&Ps, NQs. We take a look at the NQs. Now, it will be interesting to see, to see that if, if, in fact, that takes place, because if it does, it'll be one of the first days that we don't sell off into the close. Because what we have done is that we've done some counter trend bounce intraday and then just sold right into it, into the close, this is. So if we take a look at the NQs, the NQs, they had a low today of uh, 14,140. 
they're 140 bucks off that level. Now it's the same deal, okay? That took out a B point, so this is also an ABC structure up, and that high does have volume. That high out there that we're talking about, the uh, 14, 449. Now that would be quite a run for the NASDAQ to do that. I can see the S&P doing it. I can't see the NASDAQ getting that far up, but you never, you never know. That's... Okay, gold, let's go to the gold contract. So gold, bottom line, keeps wanting higher price. And this is in the context of, you know, we do have high interest rates, but guess what, it's not stopping it. And what we are getting is that we're getting an average of 200,000 contracts a day pushing on the swing, which is awesome, or 203, and then notes and bonds. This is the number here, man. I mean, the, 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 you know, this has been pushing back and forth off, off these lows. So we've, this is the sixth day that we're here. And what we had out here this morning, well, first off, yesterday you came down, and, you know, bottom line is that you, you had lighter volume, but you didn't reject lower price. Today, what ended up happening is that we did get a couple ticks lower, and then it took off like a rocket ship. So what you're also going to have, now watch this. This gets interesting for folks that like candlestick charting, because what you're also going to have is that you have a bullish engulfing here of the last three or four days, which is a positive sign. We'll see whether we get feedback, uh, follow through rather tomorrow, but that, that's a real positive sign. And if you go into the, so that's, we go to the 30, we take a look at the 30 year. 30 year right now is up a point and a half. Same setup, same setup. You get 531,000 contracts, it's good contract volume. You know, we get, if we get a couple of days like this, you are going to start seeing people pile into uh, the note and bond market. You know, that's because, because it's been such a downdraft. And then we go to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. What you're going to see with King Dollar is that, you know, it, it, had, a, it had a decent bid today, man. Um, you know, particularly because what had happened is that yesterday, let's, let's do it this way. Yesterday, you, you were up on King Dollar, and the, the, the prior day you were, and then today, man, it just gave it up. And it's a nice way that it gave it up, actually, because it got over the highs of the last week and a half, and then just gave it up in spades. We got to 106.894, and now we're at 106.634. You know, so it got over that swing point of the 106. Yeah, it did. It got over the swing point of 106.787. That was the last time that it trying to get back inside the channel line. Gave it up. Now what that sets up is that you're going to go right back down the other side. So we get a market here, man. That's the real bottom line. It's a decent market. Dow, Dow Industrial, decent trading market, that is. Dow Industrial is down 106. NASDAQ off 157. S&P's down 32. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 95. You get the NASDAQ off 152. S&Ps are off 30. Let's go inside the uh, uh, Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness right now. And point-wise, what we have is this, okay? Oh, look at that. IBM got a, got a yeah. So IBM's the big boy on there today. Uh, putting 44 positive points. Boeing, 26. Merck, 19. Taken away from it. You got Microsoft, uh, minus 71. Visa minus 23, and you get Apple minus 23. We go inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Strength versus weakness out here. You got uh, Oli O'Reilly came right back. Look at this, man. We were talking about this yesterday. So you got O'Reilly uh, Automotive is up 6.5%. Uh, JD.com is up 4. You got On Semi um, up 3. And you get, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, Baker Hughes. Baker Hughes up 3.2. Taken away from it. Oh, look at this one, man. Align Technologies on 24%. That is sick. Okay, I'm not going to see this thing, man. And then uh, Comcast. Comtax up 7.5. That's a big number, too. But, okay, so let's, we'll get, we'll get back to Align Technology. Uh, one, one second. Yeah, well, well, what you are, where am I going? Okay. <laughs> Folks, let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord.oracle, ord hyphen oracle.com it's ord hyphen oracle.com now check it out folks okay our man mr tim ord he is going to be doing a web a webinar for you and what, what it is it's the six secret ratios every trader should know you know you know tim's been on a long time now he's on twice a week with me he's been going through these ratios if you want to understand these ratios upside down to take a look now these ratios specifically are going to be for the s p 500 that's the directions of these markets if you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see it right on the front page. Uh, this is where webinar is going to be on Tuesday, November 7th from 4 to 530. It's only $149. And uh, bottom line is that you're going to have six different ratios that um, I encourage you to understand them upside down and in your sleep. 
and in sleepwalking and everything, okay? Because the bottom line is they're really useful in a, in a monster way. So check it out on the front page of our website at TFNN. Again, that's going to be on November 7th, and we're going to be talking about, he's going to be going through the, the TLT VIX, the SPY VIX, the SPY with the VIX. These are all different ratios that no one does, folks, okay? Um, you know, the uh, American Association of Individual uh, Investors, bull bear stats, and then, of course, the panic levels. Tim Oed, what's going on? Well, we're going to take a look at the S&Ps here. We've got something interesting going on. Okay. Um, wait, let's take a look at the bigger picture. Uh, we'll start with chart one. Okay, good. Once, there we go. One second. I'm going to get it right now. Okay, I'm ready. All right. The, the top window is the uh, NYSE McCollin Summation Index. Yeah. And and uh, when that gets brown below minus 700, yesterday's reading was minus 739, and today's probably going to be lower than that. But anything anything below 700, you're going into capitulation or okay. you're going into a panic situation. So it can go lower. Um, some you know if you look back in uh, left chart of the chart 2008, it went a lot lower. Yes, uh, but but what's important we're reaching below minus 700 right now uh so i wanted to point that out i pointed that out in my newsletter yesterday today uh is even going to be lower so it doesn't really mean anything it, it means that the market is kind of giving up um is it's, it's reaching um i guess a capitulation level and that's that's one indicator kind of defines when that's starting to happen does it say that we're at a bottom right now? No, but it does say that we're probably close to one. So let's now flip to chart two. Okay. Okay, chart two uh, is just really an easy indicator. This is just the weekly SPYs. And I took this back uh, far as like, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago. I don't know, when, whenever SPY started, I, I kind of looked at that. And But anyhow, what's important on this chart, this is a weekly SPY with the Bollinger Bands on it, and every time you get below the mo the blo below the lower Bollinger Band, you're kind of into uh, a, a very rare territory, and most of the times you're you're knocking at a low. I see. And I I made made this chart earlier today, and so ideally you want to close down this week and actually close below the lower Bollinger Band. The lower Bollinger Band is two, dev two uh, deviations from the norm. Uh, so the upper Bollinger Band is two, de two, de two deviations above, and, and when you get below, two deviations. So it's out of the norm this happens. It's, and if you hang around the mid-Bollinger Band, then it doesn't really say a lot. But I marked the times over the last, um, what this chart goes, looks like about two years. And every time we close below the mid the lower Bollinger Band, you at least got a short-term balance. So uh, the market's still down today. We're down about three-quarters of a point, give or take. And so ideally, you don't want the market to rally here. So no, that's, that's another say. indicator saying we're probably close to something. So let's, let's go on to chart number three. three. And what I, what I just did, Tim, is that I actually put up what you were just talking about, meaning the Bollinger Bands and the SPY, and I just brought it back even three years on a daily, and there's no doubt, man. Every time it gets down there, look at that. That's crazy, huh? Wow. Yeah, so it's a real simple indicator to follow. Yeah. And so what, what it is, it's kind of out of the norm. If the market, the yeah. market goes one way too fast, it's going to go back to the norm, which is in this case be the mid-Bollinger Band. Right. That includes going up. If it busts up through the, the upper Bollinger Band, a lot of times it'll trade sideways, and go back to the mid Bollinger Band. So that's all this is. It's kind of a, it's like a rubber band being stretched too far. Yes. And that's, that's that's all it says. So that's what you're kind of looking for. So you're you're kind of looking for, you know, a lot of people are afraid of panic. Panic is the best thing you can find in the market. Right. Because if you can find it and identify it, you're looking at a low. Right. And you know maybe not the exact low of the exact hour, but you're in the vicinity of the low. You're in good shape. Yeah. So, you're, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're you're in good shape. So when everybody's kind of jumping out of the windows and stuff, you know, you're probably getting the best buy of 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 the year. Uh, and the higher the panic is, yeah, the more stronger that rally uh, happens. So if you get minor panic, 
you get you get kind of a minor rally. If you get major panic, which we had from uh, 2022 of April, 2023 April, there was a lot of panic in that sideways move. And so I'm I'm thinking you're looking at a bigger time frame, uh, kind of a bully situation. So yeah, but uh, but anyhow, um, I know we got a. Yeah, you're let's gonna have, just, you're well, going to hear music here in about 10 seconds. You so, sure will. But, and listen, folks, as we come into this break, uh, bottom line is get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. I'm at Mr. Tim Ord. Six secret ratios every trader should know. And you, you've been listening to Tim long enough, folks, okay, that you know, you're a trader out there, man. You want this in your toolbox in a monster way, not in a small way. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 120, NASDAQ off 160, S&P's off 34. That workshop's going to be November 7th, folks, from 4 to 5.30. It's only $149. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Tim and I are coming right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Tim Wood. We do appreciate your growl and a prowl with us out here. And, folks, uh, uh, Tim has a new web webinar coming up. It's going to be on November 7th, okay, the six secrets of six secret ratios that every trader should know. You know, we, you, we've been talking with Tim for quite some time right now. You know, he does these ratios. Bottom line, folks, if you want to understand the ratios upside down, come over to our website. It's only $149. Uh, and then, of course, it's archived because you're going to want to go over these over, over and over again. Uh, that's that's the reality. And then 
Uh, bottom line, once you get them nailed, it's in your tool bell box, you're in great shape. Okay, Tim, so I'm gonna be, I'm on number, let's see, what number chart am I on right now? <laughs> the uh, chart three? Yes, chart three, okay. All right, chart three. This is a, kind of a unique indicator. Uh, the middle window is the uh, bond, which is a TLT. Okay. 20, what, 20 year bond? Uh, slash BVIX, and the BVIX is, is the VIX of the VIX. So it's kind of an obscure ratio, but um, anyhow, it works pretty well. And so it, it kind of, I, I measure the velocity of the up and down of this ratio. And so when it goes down too fast, you know, the top window is the rate of change a 10 period, which is a two week rate of change. When okay. it gets below 20, yeah. it's a bullish sign. And then the next window down is RSI 10, not the 14, but RSI 10. And when it gets down below minus 30, so when those two ratio, when those two indicators re uh, reach uh, below uh, the signed uh, oversold uh, numbers, you're usually at a short term low here. And uh, this chart goes back, I don't know, like about five, six years, whatever. And the red lines show the times when this ratio uh, reached uh, RSI and uh, ROC uh, bullish levels, I guess you might say. Yes. And currently, we're in that bullish level right now. The last time yep. we got it was at that previous low. And uh, it pretty much picked out, you know, all the, even the minor lows. Didn't pick out every low, but it picked out, you know, most of the lows. And it's currently giving a bullish sign right now. That's, That's pretty the reason cool. Why I kind of want to look at the bigger picture, say where we are. So we're not starting, as far as the market's concerned, we're not starting a, ma a major decline here. We're ending one, or not ending a so major Tim, decline. So, Tim, let, let me ask you, how the heck did you come up with this ratio? I got to know this, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know you do so much. I know you do so much work. I'm just curious. <laughs> oh, why? Well, but I like. You know, anything to do with the VIX and the VBIX, I, I try to incorporate, and I try different things with it, you know. Yes. And, and uh, I came around the bond stuff, and I, just, I couldn't really figure out how to make it work. So I just started screwing around with, you nice. know, the RSI and the ROC, see if it ever made sense. And I okay. go back, and, you know, and, and back test it. And it's pretty easy to back test a lot of these indicators. Sure, sure. Uh, right. but, pretty yeah, cool, man. So, you know, it seems to work out pretty well. Right. And why it works, uh, I really don't care. Oh, that doesn't so matter. No, listen, and folks, this is what Tim's going to be doing the workshop on. See, this is the stuff, folks, okay? If you can figure out where the bond is going to go, particularly in we're in a high interest rate environment, folks, okay? And if, in fact, that rates maybe have topped, okay, um, the bottom line, it's going to make a huge difference, man. I mean, you know, if, you know, like right now, you know, we've been messing around with this bottom in the bonds, you know, for, you know, a good two or three weeks. Uh, but the reality is if you get it right, well, guess what? You're going to have a lot of breathing room inside the markets, including the commodity markets. You know, because right. the, the further that the bond goes higher, the lower the dollar is going to go. And if the dollar goes lower, that's going to put huge oxygen inside the commodity market as well as the S&P. So pretty cool ratio, Tim. Nice. Yeah, it is. And so we're knocking on a door here, too. If you know, again, if you look at the previous chart, number two, uh, chart number two, which okay. is basically that weekly SBS, you yep. know, we're, we're below the Bollinger Band. So we're two deviations away from the norm. Right. And now you got something totally different. You know, it has nothing to do with yes. Bollinger Bands. And you got this ratio saying, yeah, you got something going on here. Right. Uh, so it's, it's starting to put together. So let's flip to. Chart number four. Okay, I have it. All right. So, so, you know, we show this chart a lot. And it's the, you know, I'm a big fan of, of, of panic. Right. You know, if you can, and the more panic it is, you know, usually you don't want to say about it because everybody hates you because everybody's on the right. other side of the bench. Right. And, and so if everybody's short, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I think I'm going long here. You know, you, you get a lot of curse words thrown at you. But anyhow, the... Um, 10-day trend is a, is a good way to measure panic. If it gets up around 1.2 or higher, and all the shaded uh, kind of a pink areas there is the times when that happened. Well, this indicator right now is not even near panic levels, according to the trend readings. There's other there's other indicators, what, which, which I already showed you, that is, is unusually in an area where a bottom usually forms. But so far, the trend 
really hasn't panicked yet. Right. And, you know, we're setting that support. Maybe we'll get a little bit below support. I got a dotted line going across the SPs there, which is right on that 420 I see on that. the SPIs. Yeah. And so we may, you know, you can push down that little trend line. You can hit more tops around, like, looks like about 400 level. If you can eyeball it there, I should yes. probably put that in. And we may go down there. I don't know. And But um, we got... You know, we're looking at a low, you know, all the panic usually happens right at the lows. So right. it doesn't take weeks and weeks of panic, but it does take two, three, four days of panic to get that low in. So, you know, maybe we won't see a low this week, but I bet, you know, if this decline keeps going, which I think we're awful close to a low, we're probably going to get panics and ticks and trend. Right now we got a trend reading 1.05, you know, in the, in the beginning of the day we had 1.4. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how if that will generate a signal or not. Uh, but right now it's not. But I have a couple, you know, the other three indicators are in bullish territory. But yes. the, the ticks and trend, you're starting to nail it down to actually the day of the, of the panic. So you're really getting close to it. You're not going to be a week off. You're going to be maybe a day or two off. Right. But right. nothing. Um, so it gets you a lot closer to the low. So you're buying the time when it's actually showing the greatest panic. So we're yeah. all close. And you know what's going to be interesting, Tim, is that what happens, folks, at the 10-day, we're going to be dropping off a 0 .40 and a 0 .54. 0 .40 just dropped off today, a 0 .54 tomorrow. So that makes a difference. And with those yeah. two point four zero and five or four folks, was that that was, you know, fear of missing out, people coming in and buying the market, even though it was going down. But, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're on the 20th, which is what, about not quite a week ago, so yes. the 20th is today, Thursday, be last Wednesday, we had a 1.47. I know. And last Thursday, one point, you know, so we're, we're getting there. And yesterday is 0.78. That's a little bit disappointing. And, you know, maybe the maybe today the market sells off and we, we pop up to maybe 1.2, maybe 1.4. I don't know. And, um, well, it is interesting times, you know, because when, over when the I've. Years, my, my best trades come on Fridays. Okay, and then you cool. Sweat all over the weekend. So I like we'll it. See. I like it. And you know, so. Tim, I was talking about when we were just getting on intraday. The uh, you know the S and P had an ABC structure on the way up, coming off that bottom, and it and it it did the whole thing. It missed the price projection by only three tenths of one. And so it's interesting because you know we have sold off every day coming into the close. And, you know, it finished at ABC, and now, you know, we were only down 22 points. Now we're down 45 in the S&P, so pretty wild. Stay right there, folks. Yeah. Tim and I come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Oy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a problem with us. So we have the Dow. Dow is down 230, Nasdaq's off 219, S&Ps are off 50. If you want to see something wild, folks, okay, you know, I started the program, we, talk, we always talk about the dollar. The dollar was only down 77 ticks, okay? And bottom line, it had been up 223, gave it up. As we gave it up, that's when the S&P went up. Well, guess what? The, S the dollar just went up 100 ticks, and the S&P just went down uh, 30 ticks. <laughs> so the correlation is still there in spades. We're talking with Tim Oyd, and right now, I believe I got, uh, I'm, what am I, I'm looking at the, the trend, Tim. Yeah, the trend. And so that's that's the only indicator, right? On a short-term basis, really hasn't yes. triggered a bullish sign yet. So it's, you know, will it? You know, maybe uh, we'll have to wait and see. But um, ideally, I like that's one of my main indicators. I always like it uh, to confirm all of this other stuff. But, I know because uh, we'll it's but high, right it's, now. It's not so right. Let's move on to chart five if you want to. Yeah, let me just ask you a question because it's it's hard to get to that one point two zero right on a ten day, Tim. That's that's the point, yeah, I guess. You, yeah, yeah. You got you got you got. Uh, well, it's, it's a ten day, so it's two weeks of sure. of ugliness, um, right? And so you get you know, and sometimes you don't get the ten day there, but you may uh, get the five day there, and that may happen here. So I'll have to wait and see. Okay. But I have the the two day, the three day, the five day, the ten day, the twenty one day. Sure. And I even got a sixty three day. Okay. But the ten days of all of it seems to work the best. Uh, nice. But Maybe we'll get just a couple of days of panic, and that's it, and we, we start taking off. It's, it's not, like, cemented in, no, in it's concrete not because that it, the 10-day has to be 1.2. It, it, um, that's correct. So what Tim's also saying, too, folks, is that we've seen it, you know, and, and Tim taught me a trend years ago. Oh, my God, 1994, which is insane. Yeah, uh, that's right, yeah. That I've done a lot of stuff with the ticks and trend. And, Seriously, and man. And kind of got away from it. And, you know, I'm thinking, I was on the right track. I should have stayed there. Oh, I'm telling so. you, man, it saved me. It made me a lot of money, you know, because what does happen, folks, is that when, and this is why I just wanted to bring this up, is that you have the 10-day, but if you get two or three days, like, and it starts 2.45, I mean, we've had those 2.45, 3.40. In 2007, I was like, okay, it, I got to do this, man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you know. Yeah, you really do. Right. Matter of fact, there's a, uh, over the years, uh, it kind of varies from year to year, but um, even in the, the most ugliest markets, like uh, 2008 or something like that, when you get a two day trend that adds up to five, yep. you automatically buy on the close. Right. And that's kind of rare. But right now, the way the current market is, you get two days of, of four, in other words, one day at three and another okay. day at one, you buy the market. Okay, cool. You buy it on the close because they're not going to let you in the next day because it's going to gap up. So, you so, know, we got to ask Tim, folks. He's going to do the, you know, the bottom line, the six secret ratios. We got to know how many more ratios you got, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, okay. there's, there's, there's a lot there. And nobody does this stuff. So, I know, you know, the I relationship know, man. between uh, all these different type equities really tell a story in the market. Right. And, uh, and, and so nobody else is really using them. They're using trend lines, which is kind of like old technology, I guess, you know. No, I, I, there's no doubt, man. The, the correlations and ratios, 
you know, particularly because you're showing, you know, that they're working. I mean, well, you're showing how they're supposed to work. Let's put it that way. And the gold market, we, I don't want to talk about the gold market right now, but the bottom line is that that went like beyond belief. There's no doubt. So I think we're already off right. to races in the gold market. So, okay, so what chart should I go to now? Go to chart five because this, this is another ratio, but it's going to be on the gold market. Okay, good. Yep. All right, so, so the middle window, uh, the top window is the 10-day RSI for the next window down, which is the weekly bullish percent index for the gold miners index slash GDX. In other words, another yep. ratio. But it's on the, the weekly time frame. And this chart goes all the way back to 2006. Yes. Now, this indicator, we showed it on your show before, and it, it, and what – Sometimes it, it picks out the exact bottom, and a lot of times, it, when it reaches the RSI of this ratio, reaches below, uh, I think it's 25, less than 25, you're at a low, but a lot of times the market will flip sideways for several weeks, if not even a couple of months, before the rally uh, goes. And the stuff that I circled there in red points that point out. In other words, it picked up the 2016 yep. low, but it went sideways for several months or a couple, three months. I don't remember what it was Right before before the rally goes. So it does measure um, capitulations, what this chart does. But each time so you have that circle, the market went, man. Yeah, there's no doubt. I see it. All right. Right. Yeah. So the current signal, I got it posted there August 28th of, right. of this year, and the market still went a little bit lower. But, you know, it, it, the previous signal of 2022, it gave a, a signal, but the market went a little bit lower. I kind of circled in red there. And even 2021, it went pretty much sideways before the rally happened. So the, the signal was still accurate, and it did uh, uh, go down a little bit more like previous signals have. Sure. But the, the rally did come. Right. And, uh, and so I think we're, we're, you know, so it went sideways when this rally started. On uh, GDX, probably October first. So it went sideways for about a month, month a little over a month before the rally actually started. I mean, it went sideways to down, uh, and then it was kind of ugly for that month. But uh, in my opinion, this this probably is going to be accurate again because you're looking at a bigger time frame. And I think there's only uh, one failure back in 2013 that the, uh, you know this signal was triggered and the market didn't rally, it kept going down. But other than that. Uh, all those blue lines there are where the uh, signals happen. Sure. And they're fairly rare, rare signals. They only happen, you know, once a year, you know, once every couple of years over the last three sweet. years that we got three yeah, in a right. row here. And, it's, and they, it, all three of them worked out pretty good. Yeah, and it's amazing, folks, okay, with the high interest rate structure. You know, physical metal, I mean, we just went from, you know, 1832, you know, and up to this, uh, well, we hit 2009, uh, you know, five days ago right now we're at 1994 so that's that's a pretty amazing run you, know, you get the straight line run it looks like we're building cars now we get five days to sideways move and you know, and you know what the, the actual uh, gold contract is doing tim which is kind of cool it's pushing on its swing now and it's averaging a couple hundred thousand contracts which is really good contract volume you know, inside the gold market, particularly pushing on highs. If it was pushing on lows, it would break the lows. But right now you're pushing on that swing high uh, with some good volume. So pretty cool, man. Yeah, you're going to break. Matter of fact, I don't have this chart shown, but there's also an eight-year eight cycle and a 10-year or a, a eight-year cycle and a 16-year cycle okay. on gold. And we're, and we're hitting the eight-year cycle right now because the eight-year cycle if you take it back, is basically a 2016 low. Wow. Um, and uh, so we're, we're hitting that cycle per month right now on the gold. Uh, so, and those previous cycles are usually are pretty accurate, especially the eight-year and the 16-year. So uh, cycle-wise, we're, we're at a very good point here. Time's going to run out. Let's flip to chart. That's chart all right. Seven. You know what we'll do? I'm just going to bring you right to the last segment, too, and then we'll do the last one, okay? Just stay right there, all right? Because this right, is okay. really important, folks, okay? Dow's down 218, NASDAQ's off 215, S&P's at 48. And, folks, as you come over to our website, at TFNN, you're going to see right into feature content. Our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing a live workshop. It's going to be from 4 to 5.30 on the November 7th. 
And, uh, you know, it's what every trader should know, these secret ratios. And Tim's the only one that has them, folks, okay? So if you want to understand them upside down, come on over. It's archived. Stay right there, folks. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Talk with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. Okay, Tim, I get chart number one up. Chart number five. Five, okay, five. Right, okay, okay. Have, we hit that. Uh, uh, so we only got a couple of minutes here. We hit that, gave a buy signal, um, and so now it's just waiting for it to go up. So now we need a trend-following indicator. So we'll flip to chart six. Okay. And um, the bot this this is a weekly chart. The bottom window is a cumulative advanced decline percent for GDX. Next window up is a cumulative up-down volume percent for GDX. And it's a cumulative, so it, it measures... Uh, you know, it's a good trending indicator. It kind of gets you, it gets you near the top and gets you near the bottom. And if you notice, these, this uh, indicator gave a sell signal, which is that red, the red lines are sell signals and the blue lines are the buy signals. Okay. It gave a sell signal back in, in April. And a sell signal occurs when one or both those indicators only need one, uh, either or, on the, of, of those indicators close below the mid Bollinger band. Right. When that happens, uh, it's a sell signal. So that happened on April of uh, 2022. Stayed on a sell signal. And now, uh, last week, actually both of them closed up. But right now, we've still got one of them above the mid-Bollinger band. And so it's still on a buy signal. So it's momentum indicator. So it's not going to be like 
uh, a week or two of rally. It could be possibly months. Uh, you know, uh, you know, some of the last six months, some last a couple of months. So let's flip to chart seven. Okay. So so now, so we got a weekly chart. We bullish. This is a short term chart. This is a daily chart, and the bottom window is the up down volume uh, percent. On an 18-day average, the next window up is the advanced decline 18-day average. As long as both those indicators remain above minus 10, the uptrend's intact. Even though we pulled back here on GDX, both those indicators are pretty much staying close to their highs, showing that the up-down volume advanced decline indicators are remaining strong. What a way to finish. you got to love it. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You want to start understanding these ratios. Tim's going to go through six of the, those ratios on November 7th. Check it out. It's only $149. Tim, you have a great weekend, safe okay. weekend. I look forward to speaking to Tuesday. That was good. Have a great one, folks.